This is a video where I'm going to be using Euclidean circles with a bunch of uh, tip-top drum sounds. I've got a bass line played in via my Make Noise Zero Coast or O Coast at the moment, and that's being sequenced by a vector sequencer. And the, um, all I'm going to do is just experiment with the Euclidean circles version two and uh, just try and make some beats on the fly. See how we go. So the baseline's kind of this. So that's the onset and it's faster, so you're getting that click. I'm just gonna dial that back. feels good. Alright, so now I've got six different options here. I've only got I think four plugged in. Yep, four. And I'm going to hit the kick drum to start with just to give it, right now all the lights are blue, one's lighter blue, it probably is not coming out real well, but if I just turn this one, step one, which is the most north facing one I guess, uh, is just turn pink. If I turn this dial again, I get two. So the pink one is step one. And the yellow one is, or any of the yellow ones, are additional steps relative to step one. If I hit it once more, I get three. Now 16 divided by three doesn't sit evenly. So you've got four steps empty between one and two, four steps empty between two and three, and then five steps empty between three and one again. And if I hit again, I get four. sync but it's syncopated so let's go to three which I think is the snare we're gonna find out oh actually I've got that um, with a cable splitting between snare and clap I think that's cool because 
because the rim shot's kind of sitting over the top timing wise and giving us a little bit more interest. So now I'm going to hit this white button and flick two. That's one, two, and three. Let's hit four, five, six. Wow, bright colors. Epilepsy warning. Um, so let's just. So now I've got a hi hat going on, but you'll hear that occasionally it's an open hi hat. And that's because I have the Michigan Sims work sitting next door to Twigs. And it's probability based setting the open and closed hi hat output trigger. So, what I could do if I wanted to be a little bit boring. That's 16 steps of triggered coin tosses per step. It's kind of good as a fill, but... Alright, that's better. That's an even eight. Just taking the rim shot out. That's quite nice. Right, now that we have a stable beat going, let's muck around with that bass sequence and make it a little bit more variable, shall we? Yes, we shall. So all I'm going to do is go over to Vector and reduce the length of the step count from 8 to 7. And that means it's going to cycle 7s, but the timing of the Euclidean is not going to change. Bit of interval. 
Spotify going on there. Anyway, there you go.